Hello everyone. Today we have uh, Miller uh, Meg Welder, uh, Miller Matic 211. This one right here. So this is, this uh, welder doesn't come on. So we're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot it very quick. And uh, so the first thing that you need to do, we're gonna take the screws up here, which is the 10 millimeter screws with your back trench. And once you remove this cover, so you, you need to take this cover off not this the one on the side so the one on the side is only for the for the wire and uh, uh, it's not for the board so we're gonna lift this one up so once once you're gonna lift it you're gonna see uh, the power cord this one right here which is the 250 uh, volt 20 amp 250 volt 20 amp socket okay so when you follow the socket this this socket will go to the circuit breaker right here, which is acting like a safety breaker. So the safety breaker is connected to, to the switch, which is the one to the side, on and off. And from the switch, you're gonna see the purple and the white. So the purple and the white is gonna go for the board in case if you take it off and you don't know where, where you're gonna hook to the back. So you're gonna see BRP, which is the purple, and the white for the neutral. And then today we're gonna we're gonna troubleshoot when the machine doesn't come on. And the second video uh, we can troubleshoot how you fix this board, which is gonna be very simple once you do it one or two times. It's gonna be very easy. So um, first first thing that we need to check the circuit breaker is acting like a fuse. It's not really a fuse. It's like a circuit breaker, either on or off and we're gonna troubleshoot the switch make sure it's connected so let's uh, draw a quick drawing very quick to show you how it's gonna work so from the uh, from the main cord we have two three wire one for the ground which is a green and we have the white or it looks like a little bit yellowish but it's it's white and it looks like from the heat it changes the colors about yeah i can see it yellow anyway uh, so you're gonna see three wire coming from the block, which is the main block right here. Is the ground, and the yellow, and the purple. Okay. So the yellow and the purple. So the the yellow, which is acting like a white, is a neutral. It's gonna go directly from the cable to the switch, and from the switch all the way to the board, which is a white right here. And then the hot wire, the hot wire will go, which is a gray. It's gonna go. To the breaker and from the breaker is going to come out as a neutral neutral going to the switch and the bottom piece and then come out from the switch go into the board so it actually is like that so if we say uh that's our miller machines you can see like uh, the circuit breaker and the switch so instead of the side view, let's take this one out as the elevation view. So the elevation view is gonna be like that. Okay, so it's like a switch. And that's the main cord. Okay, so you're gonna see the green, which is gonna be the ground connected to the machine. And then we're gonna have the gray so the gray is gonna go to the circuit breaker, which is the 125, 25 uh, amp. Okay, and then from from the circuit breaker going to the switch, the bottom. So let's do it right here then, so you can see exactly what's gonna happen. So let's take the gray all the way in the bottom, and then from the bottom, it's gonna go to the, cir to the circuit board, which is gonna be purple which is the purple right here, okay? So the gray, I'm gonna go circuit breaker, circuit breaker going to the bottom of the circuit switch, of the switch, and then from the switch, in the top portion, is gonna go to the circuit, to the circuit board. All right, so, and then the yellow, is gonna go directly to the, to the switch, okay? And then from the switch, it's gonna come up with a white color, all right? which is the wire right here. So first, first we need to check the circuit breaker. And then from the circuit breaker, we need to check the switch as well. 
So the first test that the first test that we need to do is going to be the continuity test from for the circuit breaker. Make sure this is closed, is not open circuit, and then from from the top portion or the lower portion, as long as this is good, you're going to measure from the lower one before the circuit breaker to the top portion when the when the switch is on, and you can do one from here to the lower one. Let me show you very quick and after that so it's going to be a short video to show you how you power the machine up and if you have the machine up and it's not welded so we're going to do another um another test quick test i will show you how to troubleshoot the circuit board okay so i don't want to make the, uh, the video longer but let's get your uh, multimeter very quick so any multimeter will work uh, as long as uh, the boulder and the continuity test available so right here make sure this is the spring sometimes the spring is loose sometimes it get damaged over the time especially when you when you have it overloaded many times or getting hot so make sure your multimeter is working i know it's going to be a little tough with one hand but uh, it doesn't take few minutes uh, with two hands you're normally <laughs> less than 10 minutes you can diagnose the machine so all right, so all right, so now make sure your uh, multimeter work. So we're gonna go here and test the breaker. Um, so in order to test the breaker, uh, I prefer that you. Oh, okay, so over here, circuit breaker. Oh, my finger coming the way. So all right, so. Over here, here you go, see, there's no buzzer. Let's see, now I got it. Now the breaker is on, it's open. So once you do it right here, okay, so our our situation now, the breaker is off, okay, the circuit, uh, circuit breaker. So in the, in the meantime, I, I believe the switch should be good. So since this, uh, Okay guys, so our situation now is the circuit breaker is bad. So after when I reset it a few times, still let's get the buzzards and uh, we'll do the continuity test. Now after the set, after the set is working now. All right, so, and anytime that you, uh, your circuit breaker is bad and you need to and you, you need to troubleshoot the switch or you in, in case if your circuit breaker is bad and you don't have one just for test uh, take the gray wire off all right so let me get the wire so take the gray wire off and bypass the circuit breaker but that's only for the for the quick test but if you want to run the machine without it so you're going to take a bigger chance that you know you damage your uh, your machine your welder so otherwise you can uh, connect it to the external external uh, circuit breaker until you get a replacement board. So, if, but if you want to if you want to bypass it just for quick test. So in order to get your machine power up, and once you get your machine power up, you can troubleshoot the rest if you if you don't have no uh, welder feed. So if you if you don't have the wire feed, which is gonna talk about it in the next video. So we're gonna work with this portion right here, with this wire. So that's for the responsible for the power feed and the wire feed over here, power section. So, but today we will, we're talking about how to troubleshoot to get the machine on. Once we get the machine on, and then we'll go for the next step. Uh, I will show you how this wire work for the connection for the front panel. This one right here. So in case if you wanna replace it, you wanna troubleshoot it, if, if one of this function doesn't work, so we're gonna work with, especially with this uh, with this part right here, okay? And that's uh, for the, our section, for the other section. We're gonna talk about the next one. So let's talk about the high power side, and then we'll talk about this side next time, okay? So in case if your uh, your circuit breaker is bad, we're gonna you can bypass it for quick test. So you're gonna take the lower portion of the switch, connect connect your uh, Remember this, the one is coming out from the circuit breaker. So basically you connect the main power coming from the cord to the switch. 
So what about if the switch is itself is bad, which is uh, sometime it happened. Also for quick test, take this one for the gray one, connect it to the burp. So that's the end line of the gray wire. So for, to the board, okay? So you connect this to the switch. And then if you wanna test the switch, you can test it this way. So take the, the top piece, okay? And the lower one, all right? So you get your continuity test down here. I know it's a little hard with one, one hand, but okay. So I don't hear anything. Nothing. This is to get turn the switch on. Now we'll start buzz to hear the buzzer if the switch is good. Okay, so now the switch is good. Let me turn it off. There you go. On, off. So, so the switch is good, and you have your uh, your um, circuit breaker is good you should have power in this terminal right here. So once you measure and you hook, you get to connect your uh, your bar plug, you're supposed to have 250 right here, okay? All right, so it was a quick uh, video guys. So next time uh, we're gonna do one for how to troubleshoot uh, the machine if, uh, if uh, you have power but there's nothing coming out or you don't have a bar feed and uh, also, we're gonna do another one for Bar Flex 70, which is, has another board issue. Uh, the Bar Bar Flex 70, which is a VFD drive. Okay, so whatever we're gonna do over here is gonna be the same procedure in this one also. So for next time, we're gonna have the device net uh, board doesn't work for the Bar Flex 40, and uh, another HMI. We're gonna go. Uh, gonna, we're gonna do a quick fix and also another uh, power flex 70 so and uh, normally we're gonna do another one for the power supply for the power supply we're gonna do a uh, different power supply but once you you done it one it's gonna be uh, applied for all power supply so you sometimes it's a uh, little stuff and uh, you fix it very easy which is you can get your uh, your machine up and running back again okay so yeah, and we can do another one for about fix 70. All right, so it's gonna be an easy fix. And once you do it one time, it's gonna be easy for you to do it more than once, okay? Uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you. So now we're gonna go ahead and test it. I'm gonna put the bar on. So you're gonna have this one set warm up, it's gonna come on steady. Now it should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back on and we're good to go. Alright? So turn it off. Power it off. Okay. And I'm gonna get this back in.